Joining us post game, Aliciana Fonseca, who had a fantastic match. Golden Eagles had a fantastic match in this one. They ended up taking down Eastern Wyoming College to start Region 9 North play. And Aliciana, first thing, how does it feel just to kind of get things rolling the way you guys did? The first set, you guys got a nice lead early and then were able to hold on to it. It felt good, especially from coming from a loss this weekend. It felt good just to be in the group and play how we normally play. You guys got into a little bit of a tight set in the second set. What kind of got you guys through that? How, how much, let me rephrase, how much has the experience of tight matches previously helped you with confidence in those tight sets? Um, it helped us because we had a lot of close games. So we had the confidence that we could just still play aggressive and not have to play kind of scared to score. Like we could keep our confidence up, hit aggressive because we know we can get those points. We'll talk a little bit about the back half because there's one negative thing which was dropped in the third. But honestly, there were a lot of positives to find in those. And that was the biggest one I saw was the blocking. It, as set by set went on, that seemed to be something that improved, especially for the middles. How, how, what was going through your guys' mind and what was Coach talking to you guys about? Well, we've been really working on blocking in practice. And we've been having a lot of trouble with pressing. Like, we, <laughs> we just been struggling with pressing. So, Coach has been on us with press, press, press. So... In our heads, I think we just wanted to make the switch to press instead of just going straight up. Well, and I also heard when you talk about pressing, a different kind of version of the word pressing. I heard Coach in the fourth set when you guys kind of got that lead, talk to you about, look, kind of enjoy it out there. Take in the whole thing. Don't get so stuck on what you're looking at yeah. that you can't see everything going on. How much does that help when you have a coach that wants you to not just be laser focused in, but says, hey, this is all part of the part of the game and part of the match. And you can build on it all. Yeah, um, I love that our coach is like that because he's not so just like be locked in so much. Like he wants <laughs> us to have fun. Like when you're playing loose, you're going to play better. He wants us to play loose and have fun instead of just do my job and be a robot. <laughs> Wrap it up with this. Start off Region 9 North play with a win. Now you guys go up to Gillette. Tough place to play with a new team coming back in. But how excited are you to, to get up there and play the Pronghorns? No, we're really excited. Um, looking at everyone's like wins and losses throughout the whole region, like we have a good spot for where we're at, and we can definitely – win these games. I'm definitely looking forward to it too. Aliciana, congratulations on a great match for you and the Golden Eagles and we're looking forward to more. Thank you. Coach Shaver joining us after a nice win over Eastern Wyoming College and Coach First Set, you guys kind of got off on a really nice foot again. That's becoming a pretty good trend for this team of really good first sets and matches. Yeah, I think we prepare pretty well and credit to our captains for making sure that our team warms up and is ready to play. I think it was nice to be back home. We played a lot of matches on the road at tournaments and um, some away opponents lately, so it was nice to be in our comfortable surroundings. Really great home crowd, too. I mean, for the first time, really had a nice crowd on the second deck here at Story, and, and the soccer team making some big noise over there. It's got to help the, the emotions of the girls on the court. Yeah, I think sometimes we get a little nervous because we're performing in front of people and we're worried about letting them down, but once we quit thinking like that and just play and have fun, the energy from the crowd is a big help. I noticed you talking to the girls in the fourth set and just kind of saying, hey, oh, don't just get so lasered in. Ex not necessarily enjoy it, but but take everything in because that'll help you in the match. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that kind of comment? I was asking them to open their eyes. I felt like they were kind of playing with blinders on. They weren't seeing the big picture, what, anticipate what was about to happen. We were just, for some reason, we were a little tense because we had lost set three. And so just told them, relax, open your eyes, look around. You'll start to feel the game better and move better and then back your teammates up. And that's what we did. We played a lot better ball in game four. You guys really started off set three with some good blocking and that continued into set four. How much did that improve as the match went on? Yeah, you know, it's something that is at times is a weakness of ours, but I think it could be a strength. We knew their number one hitter was number nine on the outside and we needed to block well against her. We did it at times, but we just got to. I think we're, it, it's difficult to focus on blocking technique in a game, and a lot of our players just haven't been trained before they got here on good blocking technique, and so it's something that we're working on in practice, but it's definitely difficult to carry over that technique into games with the speed and all the pressure of you know trying to execute things. So we're getting a little bit better at it gradually. Wrap it up with two more. The, the start of the fourth set when Fonka went on that nice long service run, 10 straight points, I think it was. Did that kind of relieve some of that, that pressure after the third? Definitely. I mean, our, we, we're a good serving team. 
Once in a while we get carried away and make a few too many errors, but yeah, I mean, when you get easy points when the ball doesn't come back over the net, that really just takes the weight off everybody's shoulders and we're able to relax and play a little better. You guys hit the road again. Gillette coming up on on, on Saturday with a nice afternoon matchup there. What's, uh, what, how, how does the first conference match momentum kind of carry over in that? Because conference play is different from out-of-season play. Yeah, it is a little bit. We try to tell them, you know, it's going to have a different feel, but it doesn't mean that we're going to try to play differently. We're just trying to play good, clean, low-air volleyball. That's what we're going to get back to practice and work on. We won't really even look at Gillette until Thursday or Friday, but we just need to clean up some of our airs a little bit so that we don't have to be perfect for stretches because we dug a little bit of a hole. We want to play if we can with a lead or at least close. One of the things I was really proud of was I believe it was in set one or set two, it was at 22 all, and we literally just worked yesterday in practice on that situation, literally 22 all. And so I think once I said, hey, we just practiced this, everybody went, oh, the light went on. Yeah, we can do this, it's not a big deal. And so that was nice to see them execute what we did in practice. Coach, thanks so much for the time and good luck as you guys get ready for the weekend. Thank you, appreciate it.